Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Timothy Fitzgibbons. I am an orthopedic surgeon here in Omaha. I've been in practice in orthopedic surgery since 1978 when I finished my training at the Mayo Clinic. Uh, I started off and did general orthopedics, but about the mid-1980s, I uh, followed my special interest in orthopedic foot and ankle problems and uh, became the subspecialist in our group for foot and ankle problems. Since in the 80s there, was, there were no other orthopedic surgeons in the area that were interested in foot and ankle, I became kind of the orthopedic foot and ankle person. Uh, the orthopedic residency then decided they wanted to have the residents rotate with me. And so for the last 25 uh, uh, year plus years, I pretty much have uh, exclusively practiced orthopedic foot and ankle uh, in this community. Uh, with that in mind, uh, we, I see patients all the time uh, that come in wondering about surgical options. But I always like to tell patients that the primary treatment, in my opinion, of all foot and ankle problems is non-surgical. In other words, the first thing you should always think about is trying to take care of patients without making them undergo a surgical procedure. There's no question that sometimes surgery is indicated, surgery is the best choice, but it's much better if we can at least try other things first. So I always like to make the point uh, that patients don't need to be afraid that if they come in to see me, they don't, they're going to absolutely have to have something surgically done because almost always I will go through different options, surgical and non-surgical, and usually we like to try the non-surgical procedures first. Now sometimes people ask you why you ended up in medicine. I come from a family uh, where my father was a general surgeon. There were eight children in the family, seven out of the eight are doctors. People want to know uh, why you go into medicine most of the time. You say, well, it's a family thing. But the reality is, is that I didn't ever plan on being a doctor uh, until in high school I went to work at the old St. Joseph's Hospital as an orderly. And it was at that time that I got exposed to not only uh, the real side of medicine, but also saw my father uh, in a complete different way and the way he was treated and respected. Hung out with the medical students and residents and there was no question I fell in love with medicine and that was what I was going to do no matter what. So it's been in my blood forever. Uh, there's so many Fitzgibbons around town now that we always say they're spraying for us. There's so many of us. But we're all in different specialties and I, I guess I feel like we all uh, have to some extent tried to mirror our father's practice. Uh, he was a very uh, caring and compassionate person and I uh, uh, hope that I've emulated uh, what he did in his practice. Now in terms of me personally, I grew up in Omaha. I was actually born at the Mayo Clinic when my dad was in training, uh, but after, moved here when I was three months old and uh, have lived here all my life except for the five years that I went to the Mayo Clinic for my training. Uh, I went to Creighton Prep, Creighton University, Creighton Medical School. I joked that if there was a Creighton grade school, I probably would have gone to that too. So I've been a loyal Creighton person all my life. I still am. Our group, and me specifically, have been involved with the Creighton Athletic Program since I came back in 1978. My elder partner, Dr. Frank Iverson, was the team doctor, and we've carried it on since then. And so that's a big passion in, in my life, and I think the rest of the people in the group. But I also like to play golf. I have a family of four, three boys and a girl. Now I have two uh, grandchildren, uh, which I... I live in Chicago and I can't wait to see. Uh, I also um, have been involved with some other community projects in terms of fundraising activities. I'm presently the president of the Gilbert C. Swanson uh, Foundation, which is a foundation that was formed uh, to give money for scholarships. And I've been involved with that since the 1980s. Uh, from an orthopedic standpoint, uh, I've been involved extensively with national uh, orthopedic po uh, politics and groups. I've been the president of the Mid-America Orthopedic Association, very active in the American Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Society, very active in the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, and I am now uh, presently on the uh, Board of Governors of the American College of Surgeons.